Looks a bit different, huh? So, hello everyone, it's me, Pink Bunny Murp, also known as Murp. And as you can see, I am crouching. Why am I crouching? Why am I crouching? It's because there's a new update. So, I'll just show you all the main controls first in this episode. And so, the first control is, well, the crouch button. So, for the crouch but button, it takes a few taps. Over here, here, I'll show you. This is for, um, PE. So, there's a button here that you can press. And you just want to keep pressing. If you want to get like that, you're crouched. You move very slowly. And then, what? Um, how do I jump? How do I jump? Well, this is the new jump button. So you just double tap that and you can fly up, fly down, double tap to go down. So this is like the jump button. And there's a whole new things in the settings. Wait. I'm also going to show you it in survival mode. So, in the option section, we have different points that you can put it to for difficulty and third person view. Wait, let me check. The per third person view can do this, which is just the back. On the really, really high third person view, you can do your face. On this, it's just for making your screen. So we still have, so now we have the swap, swap, jump and sneak. We have the size of the buttons like always. And we have the keyboard layout and the control layout. I don't even know what this is, so I'm just gonna put a random one. Oh, what? So guys, I need to get this on camera. So what's the difference? You take the quick lock. And now I'm gonna press, I'm gonna go to here. And now I'm gonna do custom keyboard this. Any different? Ooh. On my screen, there was like something back here. Oh, that's just, just can't wait. Okay. Oh. See that black dot over there? Oh, I think that might be coach. And then, it's the control layout. Trigger what? I don't even know. Okay, that's it. I know for that. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I see what happened. So that's the trigger for the button. This is the, for the trigger for the button. So just go over your normal one. Um, crouch. What? Oh, here's the crouch button over here. So if you press the here, let me shake. If you press this one, then you get the um the um a squat button, I guess you could say, on the other side. And now I have that on the other side. So if you want something like that, then I suggest this. Now let's get on to the cool stuff. So over here on all blocks. So you see all these, you know, normal plain blocks. But here are some new ones. So we have nether brick stairs, which I don't know if we already have. We have nut wait, what's this? This we have nether brick slabs, nether quartz ore, and soul sand. And which soul sand you might not know what it is, you might know what it is. Soul sand is the stuff that you, can, that you go really slow on. So here I'll just do a little thing here of soul sand. And I'll show you all the other stuff. So in soul sand you move very slowly. 
you go fast, but if you're on the crowd ride, you go really slow. <sighs> it, okay. And this is another course. Nothing really special if you walk on it. It's just really cool. Wait. Because we're all into the nether theme here. Here is some nether slabs. Do like the same thing as nether stick. You can do something really cool with your house. You know, maybe you can have this. I don't, I don't know what this really is, but you can have something like that. But and then like, you know, like creating ideas here. You know, looks really cool. You can also do that with regular Bach, I think. Because we're all into the nether theme. You guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are really excited for this part. Do you guys know what it is? Guess. Give me a few more seconds. Just a little bit more. Just give me a few more seconds. Okay, we're ending at five, four, three, two, one, another portal! And it was come up like this. Because it's loading. Oh yeah, I have deleted one of my um one of my Minecraft worlds. And so yeah. So here's another. And you sort of have to you might spawn in here like this. Like I did. And if I don't know where I am, I have to make a new another portal. I don't know where the heck I am. Of course I don't know where I am. I want to check something. Maybe. Nope. They do not have something that I was looking forward to. They do not have, um, I'm just going to leave like a fire trail so I know where I came from. Oh, up here is a nice way. We just go up here. I really want to find the outside to show you guys. Bedrock. Bedrock. Is this what you have to show me, life? Bedrock. 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 That, like, just sucks. So... I don't know if I'll be able to, able to find my way through here, so, yeah. You guys are probably going to be very bored, so, yeah, be expected of that. I don't even know how to get out here. Like, I know how you, you have to dig, but I didn't think I would have to dig. Ooh. Walking through the lava. Oh, okay. Down. Uh. Okay, so that one leads to bedrock, which I just. Wait. Which is this? Bedrock? So, guys, I don't even know where I am. I should have really planned. Where we were going. Because of course I didn't. Of course. Okay guys, I'm like really sorry. But I can't find any place. But I guess we're going to have to try later. So I'm just going to build another nether portal here. So guys, we're going to have to try later. But so yeah. Because I don't know where the heck it is because i was like i was like my my like black cheetah was like he came home for like a school because you know black cheetah he, he's my brother um he came back for school he's like oh guess what guess what it's funny more there is a new update and i me and him started freaking out so i'm like okay black cheetah let's start this so you know and okay what the 
not the place. Okay, guys, we'll just have to do it here. So that was all the, like, the Netherly stuff and all the newest stuff in here. Not that much. Moving on to the bookshelf part. So the bookshelf part will have a lot of stuff. I'll show you from the bottom to the top. So the first thing we have is the enchantment table. Flower pots, which I'm really excited about. A creeper head, a Steve head, a zombie head, a wither skeleton head, and a skull, a skeleton head. So here's the enchantment table. You can like add this if you're like reading class. Here's a little tip. Just to make it like this. I'm totally a reading teacher. And you have a whole book entry. If you love books, you can make it. For this to actually work, I think you need to surround it in bookshelves. So I think you need to like surround it. For this to actually work, I think you need to surround it in like bookshelves. So like, you know, like a little, a little library thing. Maybe, you know, like a little hut. Tiki hut. You can be reading and like someone can come in. Okay, so the next thing is a flower pot. And so, you know, it's a flower pot. It's like a cake. Okay, that made no sense. So, you're probably asking, how does stuff go in here? So, I am going to be trying an experiment. Okay? So, I am going to try to put in there a sapling and a flower. So, orchid. Orchids do work. They look really pretty. Oop. Oh, I guess when you break it, you also break the flower pot. I didn't know that came with it. I think like, I didn't know that happened. So, the flower pot and the sapling works. And one more thing. You guys, I have two more experiments. So, let's just put in the flower pot that. I want to try to use a cactus in it. And... This giant rose bush. The rose bush will not work. The cactus will. The cactus look really cool. You don't get hurt by the cactus. I think. I think. Okay. So now for a lot of the other ones. So now we have really cool Minecraft heads you can use for Halloween or anything like that. They are really cool. We have a we have a creeper, a Steve, a zombie, a leather skeleton, and a skeleton. And I think it matters the size, like the way you put it. And they're really cool. I think you get them from mobs that drop them. They might drop them. So all of these mobs, I think you might get them from the Steve that I, I, I have no idea. You are not going to be murdering someone today. But I hope in the new update they come up with heads that you can use for your skins. Like if you kill somebody that comes out. You know, that would be really cool. So the next thing we have after that is a little bit up. We have the one. The only anvils. We have some anvils. A brewing stand. Ooh. Nether brick fences. I didn't know that. And that is it in the bookshelf area. So, from our masterpiece. So, the first one I'm going to be showing you is the very damaged anvil. So, I think you will be able to use this. So, I am going to hop into creative. And to see. See, and so you will use uh, something, so... A Steve head, break things, and let's go kill an animal. And this is a good time to show you that you have now hunger and experience. So let me kill this pig to show you. Come on, piggy, 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 piggy. And so he drops experience, which is really sad because you know I need that I need experience. And you can get experience and these little cactuses over here do not hurt you. And to make an enchantment table, you would go here, you place like boots or a sword or something like that.